A lot of us know Kirstie Alley's story, and there's a chance you relate to it. For years, she struggled with her weight. She's been open with her fans about that. But after dropping 50 pounds, she's certain this time the weight is staying off, and she joined us now to talk about it. Kirstie, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, we're doing great. You're doing great. So how'd you lose the weight, and why Thanks. do you think this time is different? Because I, I know me as a personality, and I know that I will try and get around every situation by shortcutting it. And I realized finally that you just have to do this, and then it has to be part of your life mm -hmm. from then on. You can't, you know, I think a lot of people set a goal for themselves. Oh, I want to lose 30 pounds. They lose 30 pounds. And they, they have a back of their mind, I want to lose 30 pounds. And at the end of that 30 pounds, I'm going to go wild, mm -hmm. or I, you know, and, and I think that's not, that's not particularly a winning combination. <laughs> so uh, for me, it was like, okay, so I'm going to make a new decision where I'm going to look at this for the rest of my life. And of course, I'm going to live to 120, so I have a lot of years left. Uh -huh. But I, I, I looked at it on a long-term basis, but applied short-term um, methods to lose it. I, I do understand what you're saying. Why did you choose to be so open about this? I mean, you could have gone through this journey privately all along. <laughs> Why be open? Well, I don't think my life is very unprivate. Mm. My, my life is not private. It is unprivate. So, you know, if I want to walk out the door, the paparazzi mm. basically live in my front yard. So there wasn't really a choice on having a private journey of weight gain. So, you know, and then I, in the beginning I found it very upsetting and then I decided to just confront it head on. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I felt like I could help a lot of people because I, I feel like this is a struggle for many people. You know, one in three Americans are obese. What a horrible word, but it's true. And so it's, I, I'm not alone in this battle. And I, I felt like I could actually help people. And uh, that's my long-term goal is to help other people find ways to get healthy. Well, we would look forward to 2015 and seeing where it leads for you, Kirsty. Thanks for joining us today.